Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. This is like the first video that I'm recording on my new phone, guys. Uh, let me know if you like the camera quality. I'm still trying to play up with it. Still trying to get used to the phone and to the camera. Let me know if you guys like the quality of the videos now because you know before I used to use my iPhone 8 and well now I upgrade to the 13 Pro Max and honestly I've been loving it. I I'm obsessed with the camera quality. I feel like I'll have to do a separate video, but like I'm not a techie person, so then I, you know, I don't want to say the wrong thing or whatever. But I am in love with the quality of this camera. I I don't know. And the front camera is amazing because I'm using the front camera right now, and it is amazing. You can see each individual pore in my skin. That's so HD it is. Okay, so today. Done one of these videos, but today I wanted to do. First of all, I'm craving something really sweet, but I'm trying to, you know, relax myself with all these unnecessary processed food and try and up for something a little more healthy, you know. Yeah, we could have the junk food, but not like right through every day. I'm feeling to eat something sweet, like a brownie or like a cake or like something, you know. A little more on the healthier side and I found this recipe for a chickpea or white beans so you can use either chickpeas which is like chana in Trinidad known as chana <laughs> you could either use chickpea or you could use white beans for a brownie now listen I did um, a video a while back where I did making vegan avocado brownies and let me tell you this was amazing. It tasted so good. It didn't taste like zabuka or nothing. It tasted really, really good. So I've linked that in the description and I'll try to put it in the cards. So you guys can watch out on that video and come back and watch this one. But I have a can of rice. I have a can of chickpeas and the recipe called for one can of chickpeas. I could have either, you know, save this and curry it with some chicken, but I've chosen to make brownies. What has the world, you know, come to? Anyways, so what you're gonna need is one can of chickpeas, two tablespoons of cocoa powder, and two tablespoons of Dutch cocoa. I don't have Dutch cocoa money, so I'm going to use, I'm just gonna double up on four tablespoons of this cocoa powder. Then a third cup of, um, you can do either white flour, oat flour, or almond flour. This is just a third cup of oats that I throw into, into my ninja and I just blend it so automatically we get oat flour. Three tablespoons of milk of choice, so I'll be using almond milk. And you can either use three tablespoons of oil or three tablespoons of nut butter of choice. A tablespoon of pure vanilla extract, sorry, a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, a teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt and baking soda, half cup of sugar. I'm going to try and omit the sugar. Instead, I'm going to use dates. So I'm gonna use like half cup of dates and a half cup of chocolate chips. That's the ingredient list, guys. And I will have this recipe link in the description box down below. And all you just need to do is just add everything to your food processor and it's simple and easy as that. But let me go and open this channel and drain it, wash it, and then I'll see you guys when we're going to process everything. All right, so we have the chickpea in here already. So I'm gonna add my four tablespoons of cocoa powder. One, two, three, Four. This is way more than four tablespoons, but who cares? <laughs> oat flour, which is a third cup of oat flour. So a third cup of oat flour goes in there. Mom bought these little cute nature nature's hot almond milk. So I'm just gonna use a uh, three tablespoon of this. This almond milk, or you could use um applesauce. Oh my gosh, I am making a mess. 
Let's put one more. You know, we'll do a little bit for good old. Alright, we'll just do two tablespoons of vanilla extract, a teaspoon of baking powder. You know, I have my um, measuring spoons, but they're in the sink and I'm not feeling to like wash it, so I'm just trying to eyeball. <laughs> baking powder. Alright. Quarter teaspoon of salt. Mm, that should be like that should be like enough. And I don't have any baking soda, so I'm just gonna omit that. Almond butter, so I'm just gonna add three tablespoons of this. One, two, three. I'm add some dates for like sweetness. Even though like I should add the sugar, but I'm just gonna add some dates. So like I think that should be enough dates. So time to blend this dish up. Because it's really really kind of dry so I'm just gonna add a little liquid to this to get it rolling that might be too much liquid but who cares Let's see. so this is the consistency here um, I don't know how to feel about it <laughs> It needs to blend some more guys all right guys so this is what it looks like let me see if i can show you guys what all right guys so this is what the batter is looking like there's like still chunks of how they call those thing dates in here but i'm gonna leave it like that and i'm just gonna add some chocolate chips and transfer it into my dish i just sprayed it with some butter let me hope for the best <laughs> all right guys so this is how it's looking honestly it looks really good i just added some more chocolate chips to the top i'm going to put it into my air fryer take all the base um so hopefully i can get this in without burning my hand okay good so it's in there and to put this in honestly can't remember how long they said to bake it for uh, 14 minutes so yeah so i'll see you guys when it's done so this is how the brownie is looking um yeah i'm gonna test it to see if it's done i'll just take this knife and just stick it Okay, that is pretty done. I'll take it out and put it to cool and then we'll taste it when it's cool. Okay, so I just made um, like, I just added the rest of the almond milk and the remainders of marshmallow chocolate just to like drizzle on top of it. And I added a few of these chocolate chips because it was a bit too thin. Is the brownie supposed to wait on this to cool down and to add the chocolate i don't know so i'm just gonna drizzle some of this on top oh my god <laughs> guys that's how it's looking i got some chocolate on my white kitchen towel love that it's cool down then we'll come back to it and i'll show you guys and we'll taste it and I can't so wait. I put the brownies in the freezer to get a little cool because it was too hot. The chocolate that I melted on top of it is still kind of like, um, it's not hardened because obviously the brownie is still hot. But by the time we wait, I wanted to talk to you guys about this book. So if you watch my weekend vlog, you'll see that I got this book and 
I got um, Lily saying how to be a boss. This one is the subtle art of not giving a F. Which chapter four? And when I tell you guys, this book is so. I, I don't know what's the word to to describe this book. It's so realistic. I really don't know how to word this properly because. As I said before, I am not one to read. I really don't like reading, but the first book that I bought was How to Be a Triangle by Lily Singh. And I read that book in two days and I really enjoy it. Like I really like enjoy reading real life situations and experiences and those kind of books. So when I Google like books like that, this one came up and there's a lot of swearing in here. Um, so if you don't like to read books that has a lot of swearing i mean obviously you shouldn't buy this because i mean the title is big and bold so but if you if you don't have any problem with that because i don't you would really enjoy this book it's such such a good book I highly 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 recommend so i'm gonna see if this brownie chickpea brownie is ready and we're gonna cut into this <laughs> This is the brownie. I didn't show you guys cutting into it, but it, I feel like if it needs more bacon, but the center is kind of like really mush, but the outside layer is cooked. So the center is more like um, like a fudge, but the inside, but the outside is cooked. But sometimes that's how brownie usually is. Uh, like the center is like really fudgy, a fudgy texture, and then the outside is cook and um yeah but this is what it looks like guys and yeah i'm gonna try it so get a piece on the outside so i think that's a perfect bite so cheers mm. oh my gosh this is divine even though you're worried about like the center and it looking kind of raw you don't have to worry about that because there's no eggs in here oats in here and basically people eat oats just so there's almond butter what else you don't have to worry about it being raw mm. it's oh my gosh this is really freaking good like Mm -hmm. Mind you, this have no sugar. The recipe called for half cup of sugar, but I didn't want it to put any sugar. As you seen before, I just added this as my form of sweetener, and the chocolate chips are honestly pretty fire. So good. It satisfy my craving. Mm -hmm. If you're worrying about tasting the chana, you're not tasting no chana. It's like the same thing with the avocado. When I made the avocado brownies, I was worried if I would have been tasting like the avocado. No, I wasn't. Mm. Hey guys, if you're looking for something a little more healthier, I mean, this would have been healthy, but I added a little more chocolate chip than usual but I mean the recipe said om omit it at your own risk so I mean pretty much they just telling me to add chocolate chips right so yeah and the recipe called for half cup I did not use half cup of chocolate chips had I used half cup of chocolate chips I wouldn't have to use no dates because then this is would have been too sweet if you try this let me know what you think uh, so much for watching guys I'll catch you guys in my next video don't forget to stay safe stay blessed bye